You're watching Sports Center. Robert Flores, Matt Barry, Chris Bosch. Coming up huge for Miami in game two of the NBA Finals, second quarter. Team down five. Dwayne Wade loses the handle, but finds a cutting Bosch and gets the and one. Free throw was good. Cut the lead to two. Start of the fourth. Bosch, very assertive, strong to the cup. Fouled by Tiago Splitter. Miami up two. This was the big bucket. LeBron James kicks it open to Chris Bosch, who hits a corner three. Miami has a two point lead. Under 15 seconds to go. Spurs elect not to foul. Bosch driving to the cup. It's Dwayne Wade, and that's it. Miami takes game two, 95 to 93. If there is such a thing, he is the undervalued member of Miami's big three. Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosch all sacrificing money to play together in Miami. But it was only Bosch that has sacrificed stature. He went from a first option in Toronto to a sometimes glorified jump shooter. But as he showed in Sunday's game two, he's still capable of rising to the occasion when his team needs him. Chris Bosch with Stuart Scott in the Sunday Conversation. For the second straight year, the Spurs win game one of the finals. The Miami Heat come back and win game two. Hanging out with us now, Chris Bosch, 18 points, three rebounds. Chris, a key play in the game. Late game on the line. LeBron drives, draws a double, swings to you for an open three-pointer. Now, we know athletes see plays before they happen. At what yeah. point did you anticipate it was coming to you? Uh, as soon as we drew the play up. Kind of. Um, you know, you have to, that's, that's one of those points where you have to be ready because, um, you know, we've been doing this for so long that, you know, you, you start to see uh, what's happening, and I just make one read. If my man goes, I spot up and shoot it. When you let it fly, what were you thinking? <clears throat> Nothing. Uh, catch and shoot, and, um, you know, you just have this moment where you just want to watch it go in and then get back on defense. You know, I know, I know a lot of people say a lot's going through their mind, but um, nothing happens for me. Um, I just kind of just read and react and um, just watch the situation happen. Playing off, you saying getting back on defense. In game one, the Spurs shot like 59%. Yeah. Here in game <clears throat> two, they shot 44%. What was the difference? Well, I mean, we, uh, I think we, we took more pride on, on defense. Um, I think uh, it was all about really playing with more passion. I don't think we had that for the entire game. Game one was a weird game. It was very difficult. Um, but you know, offensively and defensively, it was just gutting it out. And um, knowing it's going to be difficult and really scratching uh, parts of uh, your soul and finding what you need to find and, and come up with uh, big wins. Scratching parts of your soul. Can I, because I want to I wanna say that, <laughs> scratching. I'm just going to use that later at some point in time. In the third quarter, LeBron went video game on the Spurs. He had a personal 8-0 run in 51 seconds. He scored 12 points in two minutes. Now, we know what it's like as fans to watch that. What's it like as a teammate to watch your boy going off like that? It makes it a little easier. You know, when, he, when he's got it going, you can just concentrate on defense. And, and you know, at that time, we needed some buckets. And um, he put us on our back um, uh, for that small amount of time. And, you know, he just bounced back and had an incredible game. But for that stretch, he, uh, he, he, he just um, does what he does, and um, we've seen it before, and he, he'll do it again. He was really disappointed after the cramp game. He cramped up in game one, couldn't be there late in the game. Caught a lot of flack from a lot of people, as he expected. What did you see in him going into this game? Just focus. Uh, focus and just the will to win. And uh, no matter what happens in the outside world, uh, we stay focused on what we're supposed to do. And um, everything he was doing was aggressive. Uh, no matter if he got off to a slow start or not, he still just stayed with everything he was supposed to stay with. Um, and he kept his focus on the game no matter what happened. And, um, you know, I'm proud of him for bouncing back. Now uh, we've got more work to do. The Miami Heat always bounce back in the big three era. They are now 6-0 and in game twos after losing game one. The previous five times they also went on to win the series. We will see. Chris Bosh, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thanks All right, a lot. Bro. Bosch has been strong in the last five games, going for more than 21 points, shooting more than 65% from the floor. In his first 12 games of the postseason, he obviously had success, but Bosch was averaging just a little more than 13 points per game, and shooting percentage was below 